Uh, hello, I'm Mr. Brush. <laughs> we won't even go there. Hello, um, it's me, Jessica. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today is actually, what is today? The 22nd. I don't believe that. September 22nd. 2012. Um, so, welcome to another one of my videos. Um, got some updating to do. Um, let's, you know, I know. Just, I'm getting all the brush haters out of here right now, so if you hate brushes, just go ahead, forget about it. You like those? Or, I stopped on my way back. I always stop at the store. They're just, they're little trinkets. Um, but I stop and I get, it's some nice ones. Um, but in Aberdeen, um, no, not Aberdeen. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of Washington. Abilene, Texas. On my way to Dallas and back. Um, I stopped, they got like jewelry for a buck. <laughs> you can't turn down jewelry for a buck. So, especially if you're, you know, not sure what colors work for you, what work for this outfit, that, I'd rather just have a big old collection than one or two, you know, $80, $90 pair of earrings and a buck. <laughs> a buck, one buck. Um, call me cheap. I don't know. Um, so, I, and then the shirt, my gosh, I just, <laughs> I got this shirt here. Um, you can't see it. It's kind of. Um, it was three dollars at the thrift store. So I got my shopping done. Man, we got. I'm afraid to use these. At least probably break. But for a buck, what the heck? I find an outfit. I'm gonna wear it. Guess what? Um. So yes. And then of course. We're not talking about the jewelry. We're talking about me. And my name is Jessica. And, um, as we all know, I left you guys and gals um, about a week ago getting ready to go to Dallas. Um, taking a job. Um, I mean, it's still here in New Mexico, but I was going to Dallas to go to court. Because, um, see, when I got my name changed, it's a legal name change. It's my driver's license, my social security card. Everything is legally changed. Except for my birth certificate. So, I kind of like spaced that off, forgot about it, or didn't know. I just assumed that, hey, if the court went ahead and changed my name legally, then, you know what, they can change my birth certificate. And normally, if I was born in Texas, I think believe um, with the Texas court order of the legal name change it would have worked however because I was born in Minneapolis Minnesota um, they need Minnesota wants something that says you know hey we you know as a court order Minnesota to change this person's or amend this person's birth certificate. So I had to go back to court um, and just clarify and um, a motion to uh, uh, change his name on birth certificate. And I was just flat out. I didn't even get sworn in. He just flat out turned me down. I, I was kind of bummed out. Um, the same judge that, you know, accepted my name change, that did my name change from Michael to Jessica, denied flat out um, my request to change the birth certificate. And it is Texas, so I'm, I've had time to calm down a little bit. Um, Texas is a very conservative state. Um, Minnesota will do it if I think it's like a seven year grandfather clause or common law clause or something so if I bring him a doctor's note or something at seven years old they'll go ahead and do it so I'm not SOL well I am at least as far as Texas is concerned I am gonna try 
I think there's my neighbor. Bye, neighbor. Uh, <laughs> I am going to try um, New Mexico. See, when I'm in New Mexico, I have not changed my residency yet, but I'm going to. Um, because I, I, you know, because of the driver's license thing, I, I really, I really want that F on my driver's license. I got it on my passport, you know, so I was really bummed out. Um, but I had some friends that, you know, I, <laughs> yes, I got friends. You believe that? <laughs> Whoa, she's got friends, folks. <laughs> So, anyway, my friends in Dallas, Texas, calmed me down quite a bit. Went over to Sue Ellen's that night. Um, you all know who you are. Um, Shari, Jackie. Um, met some new friends, too. So, uh, part of the group down there. And, uh, you know, they calmed me down. Just, you know, hey, that's, you know, just don't give up. You got, you've helped us so much. <laughs> and I guess they what I sometimes forget how much people actually, you know, every now and then they just check in, you know, hey, how's Jessica doing, you know, they don't follow every single bit, if you follow every single video, I got news for you right now, you're just going to be in for a soap opera and a half, um, so, it's all good, um, and I've had time to calm down, I'm disappointed, yes, I'm pissed, yes, it just didn't, and yes, if you think correctly, you notice something else might be a little bit different. But you're not quitely sure. Um, there are actually two more things that are different. Because when I left, okay, I really don't care about them. I really don't. But heck, I, I was on Groupon.com. If you all know it, I get my lasers and stuff like that. And I get $99 for six sessions. I mean... So if you get the money, sometimes, you know, just to thin it out, get rid of your shadow, it's still not working. But I had all my face completely done um, while I was there. So that's good. I should be good for a couple months. Because it was starting to get really bad right in there. So, But the main change, because I'm always, you know, the main change, um, if you happen to notice right here, um, see if I can slide this photo over <laughs> and then of course um, this one's a little bit bigger but um, yeah so $69 for two moles I figured what the heck um, I asked my parent my dad my real dad my birth dad um, I asked him once I said how did I get this mole on my nose I think that was like 13, 14 or something. It was in Arizona. Maybe 15. No. Yeah, 15 or 16. Anyway, he goes, oh, we just dropped you on your head one too many times. <laughs> so, my dad's a character. Um, I haven't talked to him much, though. So, just an update. He does not know yet. But, um, so, um, they cut that out. They showed them to me, too. They were like, here, there's your two little more. <laughs> Six and I paid like twenty bucks extra just so they could just numb the crap out of it. They stick that needle in there. And it, if you ever had laser done up on the lip, it hurts, and that needle it hurt when it numbed it out because they they you know. Let me tell you something. When they did that one on my nose and they did that needle, I I felt. I mean, I did cry. I <laughs> make up more. I was like, eh. But then once it got kicked out, so. Anywho, that was my finale um, before I left Dallas. I saw my therapist. Um, she's actually really, really, you know, not amazed or nothing. Just she's happy. She's happy for me. Um, I mean, she just likes the way I, you know, just sort of gradually, you know, in the course of one year of time. Um, and you guys have seen the differences. So you can imagine the differences she's seen because I tell her a lot more than I tell you folks. And actually now I'm starting to open up more to you folks. So, I mean, it's all good. Um, but, you know, some of the challenges I've had over the past year, she's just, 
So, and because of me living here in New Mexico, her and Dallas, we were going to Skype Octobers, but um, we just went ahead and just, you're doing fine. If there's a problem, just give me an update in October. I'm like, all right. So, that saves me a few bucks there. So, instead of a Skype session, um, but I will have a session. My next one's the week after Thanksgiving, which I'm hoping I'll be able to go back to Dallas. But I'll find out as time comes on or comes along. So, um, and if I get enough points, but this new job. Um, so let me finish the Dallas thing uh, <laughs> before I get carried away. Uh, the trip to Dallas. Oh my gosh! Um, after I made that video, I went and did laundry. And this is it's just back. You, you might as well just turn it off. There is no more updates. I'm. It's a boring video. Okay, turn it off. Go get popcorn. Okay, see it. Bye. <laughs> um. So. I was doing laundry on the Saturday after I did the video. I walked up to my truck because I'm not carrying my laundry. So, yeah, I noticed a screw in my dang tire. This is Saturday. I'm in a small little town of Eunice, and I'm like, it's 3.30, almost 4 o'clock. Everybody's closed, but I'm going to try. I went downtown because I wanted to leave Sunday morning. And uh, there was one guy, and his tire shop sitting there talking. You know, it cost me 15 bucks, but he took that screw out, sure enough. Because <laughs> I was thinking maybe I could just take the screw out now. So, driving the truck, I sort of, you know, I look for stuff like that. Not all the time, but when I'm at Walmart or something like that, I'll, sometimes I'll walk around. And that's what I sort of did. I was walking around checking my lights and stuff because, hey, I'm leaving. It's a big trip, you know, safety. And thank goodness I did that because I noticed that screw. All the way to Dallas, from New Mexico to Dallas and back, if I would have noticed that screw, who's to say I wouldn't have had it? was on the front tire, too, the steer tire. So, who's to say Sunday? I mean, I had it fixed on Saturday. Sunday morning, it was so dang foggy. So, look, I'm driving in this stuff right here. See, look. And my gosh, as you can see, I can hardly see, and the camera's not even. So <laughs> here I am. Okay, I got the tire fixed, but here I am driving, thinking, my gosh, if I wouldn't have noticed that screw my tire, who's to say I wouldn't have gone off in the ditch somewhere? So somebody's watching out for me. Um, it's more than likely my parents, my you know. Um, my adoptive parents and it could be Shadow too, my dog. Um, which I did see her. I did make it there safe and I I didn't do what I was gonna do. I was gonna sit down but I just have a drink. Um I got her collar, so it does smell like her too, so it still got some of her smell, but I got her collar. Um, let me put that there now. I know you liked it. Um, my fiance gave that to me. She said, "You, you, you, you earned your wing. You got your wing." So <laughs> I kind of like it. I mean, it's the story behind it. You know, getting my wings, you know, spreading them out. And I, that's what I've been talking about. Even you know, my therapist just noticed. Um, you know, so I, I don't like bragging. I don't, and I got a long ways to go. I'm not even preaching here. I ain't. I ain't preaching a bit. I got a long ways to go. Um, but anyway, I, I, they did a good job. Um, burying shadow. So I got that. Um, let's see what else was I gonna. Um, but yeah, then after that, um, so I'm a therapist, 65 bucks at a thrift store. And let me tell you something. I walked out with like three, two and a half garbage bags. Because <laughs> you know, okay, if you go to a thrift store, you know, you'll get these little tags. I think I threw them all away because I was taking them off. They staple the thing tags too. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But anyway, usually on, you know, Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, every single day, whatever, you know, maybe furniture will be 20% off. Maybe, you know, clothes with a yellow tag will be 
30% off or the ones with the green tag will be 50% off or you know what I mean it, they just do that the day I went and this was over by my therapist <laughs> um, over on Forest Lane uh, there's a uh, what's it Thrift World um, pretty much by Forest Lane at 635 right in there if you're in Dallas but at the day I went it was just like every single tag except for blue was 50% <laughs> So here I am, you know, I'm in New Mexico. I only got like one thrift store, hardly anything extra large. Um, and um, <laughs> I just, hey, that'll make a good work shirt. Yeah, because I'm working outdoors in the winter. So long sleeve shirt, sweatshirts. I dress in layers. Um, so I bought a bunch of, you know, they were like two bucks, 50% off. They were a buck. <laughs> um, I think this one was fifty. This one was fifty percent off. It was like seven bucks, three fifty. Hell, I'm not. No, this this ain't a work shirt. This is a good one. Um, all kinds of <laughs> crazy. Um, so <laughs> never, ever, ever spent sixty five dollars in a thrift store before. <laughs> But because I don't have many options here in New Mexico, I just sort of, hey, <laughs> got a little crazy. And, um, yeah, so I did all my thrift store shopping, got that out of the way. Picked up some makeup, all that good stuff. Um, because the Walmart here is not even, <laughs> they don't got half the stuff um, that I like. So, um, and then I pretty much left. Dallas. I mean, I went to court, got denied right away. Thank goodness, though. Um, even though it was bummer and frustrating, when I when I went to court the first time and got my name changed, I was the very, very last person in the courtroom. I, all these people, and when I went there this time, there was probably at least twenty different couples cases that were there, but I was jumbled in the middle, so I didn't have to wait. I think I was like in the first half hour. But it's like a divorce court. I mean, not really a divorce court, but, you know, name change, stuff like that. Um, and so I didn't have to wait the whole time. And, you know, my case wasn't even brought up. I wasn't even sworn, sworn in, really. He just asked if I had proof that Texas can do it. And I was like, well, you know, you know, with adoptions, statewide adoptions and nationwide, you know, they, Minnesota really doesn't have something to say in Texas. You have permission. But, it, you know, states all over. So I might have screwed up there. I don't know. Um, and obviously, I'm not going to. They got name change lawyers and all that. I'm not going to. No. 3000 bucks. Hello. No. Um, maybe I'm just looking in the wrong spot. So I don't know what options I'm really going to have with my name change. Maybe. Maybe I can say, hey, uh, New Mexico. You know, when I get transferred to New Mexico, get all my drivers in. Hey, New Mexico, or, you know, I've already got my name changed, but they didn't quite finish it. They might do it. I don't know. Of course, that might be a lawyer thing, too. And, um, so, but New Mexico is really, like I said, they got that one form to go to the DMV. I had my therapist sign it while I was there. I was going to see my doctor. I didn't get a chance. Um, and I missed the gay pride uh, parade, you know, by a few hours. Which is alright, but like I said, Monday night, um, after court, uh, my fiance drove me down to Dallas and went to Sea Islands, so I had a safe drive back. I had a taxi, sort of. And I got a little, I got a little drunk. <laughs> Just a little. Um, but they didn't have karaoke. They, Monday's usually karaoke, but the guy didn't show up. But everybody had fun and just mingled. I played pool a lot, you know, with my fiance. And, um... It was good, and then, of course, having friends calm me down, and, you know, just, don't worry, Texas is just conservative, that's just Texas. Um, you, you, for you being in Texas and doing what you did, you did great, girl, and I'm like, all right, cool. So, Tuesday I leave. Um, I get my moles. <laughs> 69 bucks, come on! Um, you can't complain. Um, so, 69 bucks. Two moles. Uh, actually, it was what eighty nine because I paid twenty extra 
for the shot, which they tricked me into, but I'm glad I got the shots. I already had the 69 spent, so hopefully in two weeks you won't see um, that anymore, but it's not too bad. And then, of course, the one here is healing really good. But I always hated this one here, even though, I, come on, it's a deformity, yes, but I got a big deformity way down there, and if I can live with that right now, I can live with some mold. So mold was no big deal. It, it's just like a bonus. That's all it was. And uh, I asked him, I was going to actually, because I got some in my armpit, I always, sometimes when I stretch and I feel, I'm like, what the heck is that? And I, I, I've had them. Huge moles. You don't want to see them. Um, not unless you're in bed with me. And Sorry. <laughs> okay, so... Um, moving right along. <laughs> um, you now what was I going to talk about? So I got those mold done, and uh, it should be about two weeks. Um, but this one here, I hate it because I was always shaving it. When you took this one off, I can, you know, because it's burning it or something, cutting it, burning it, doing all kinds. Of, I had my eyes closed. I just couldn't. And um, I can hear. You know, because your ears are like super powder and I can hear, you know, that hair burning. But I always, when I shave, that's what I was getting ready to say. My upper lip, it's just, every now and then I hit it or I have to go around it. So when this heals up all the way, this will be good. Because um, moles don't care. I mean, the hairs grow through the mole. I mean, phew. but anyway, those two are done. Um, so that was... Good. What else did I do? Is that laser then all morning? I've got my eyebrows redone. I, mean, I don't know. They did a better job in Dallas for some reason. Um, the one lady here, maybe I just didn't have them uh, thin enough here and they were just afraid. I don't know. So, moving right along, then I've wasted 20 minutes of that. Now we get over, because Tuesday I'm heading over to Odessa. Now, remind you, when I'm heading over to Odessa, um, I'm spending the night because Odessa and where I'm at, it's about an hour and a half away, um, a little bit more. But I had an appointment at 8.30 Texas time. There's an hour difference. So that'd be 7.30 New Mexico time. So 7.30 New Mexico time, which means I'd have to leave around 6.00 maybe a little bit mail to avoid rush hour traffic maybe 5 30. new mexico time just to make it to this doctor's at 7 30. excuse me um so i just decided you know what instead of doing all that wasting all the gas in my pickup truck just go ahead and stay the night in a motel um hotels.com i am so pissed at them um i need to see what i can do i mean this hotel was 70 bucks and I had to lower it. I had to lower it just to get to the 70. Because I called them up. I said, two people. I think it was kayak.com and hotels.com had the same price. And I'm like, you know what? Hotels.com. You know, you guys are the same price. Oh, we'll take $10 off. Okay. It's still expensive for a hotel. But I was all right. But take a look at this hotel. Would you look at that door handle? I mean, come on. <laughs> One star, two star, I don't care. I mean, it's probably, I think it was a two star. What was it? I, know. I think it was a two star hotel. What? My computer, like, freaked out once. And it just didn't like me. But, I mean, and look at this. Yeah, they, they got two stars on it. Uh, one rating. Um, but that's a super in and sweets in Odessa, Texas. If you're ever there, don't stay there. I'm sitting here, I'm checking in. And it was a good side of the neighborhood, let me tell you that. Um, everybody was nice, nobody was rude, nobody whistled. But I could tell, you know, when you walk in this neighborhood, or any neighborhood, you could tell if it's a good neighborhood um, or not. And I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> um, there was one guy, he was sitting down below all by himself. Um, 
was in the back of his pickup and he was looking up. His pickup was parked forward and he would just look up. So every time I opened the door, he, he was always <laughs> So I didn't even want to open the door. I was going to show you all the picture of that. But, I mean, then look at the bathroom. I mean, it's just... And the blanket. Check out that blanket. Can you believe that? I mean, this whole... This was not $70 worth of hotel. Okay. So anyway. Um, I got a little pissed off on that. I was like, oh my gosh. But, um, you know, I went in um, for my therapy. Or it was for my drug screen. They did two hours of testing on me. But what they did and why it took two hours, I have no idea. I mean, they obviously, they did the blood test. They took the blood off of this arm. Um, they're counting something. I don't know what. You know, because they had me fast. Um, then they, of course, did a breathalyzer. So, I'm, that's no problem. <laughs> Ring up zero, 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 zero. I didn't even use one, you know. I was like, come on, I need, wait, I need to go home and take my medicine. They're like, oh, well, you're supposed to take your medicine. Like, no, it said fast. <laughs> it's like no food or water. <laughs> I'm not taking my pills without. <coughs> so, anyway, um, I'm still waiting on the results from that. I was hoping I was going to hear something from them yesterday, probably Monday or Tuesday. I'll let you folks know um, on my 14 video. Do you believe that? All this talk, and I'm finally, I made it to an F. I have not made an F video in how many months now? Do I even want to know? I'm, I'm just thinking. Yeah, so this is 13 F, 12 D, 11 C, 10, 9, Eight, seven, D, six, H. So six. So it's been seven months, pretty much, since. And that was when I got fired. <laughs> so now I'm starting, like I told you, folks, videos are going to start kicking up a little bit now that I'm working again. Um, but there's more information to throw. Um, I'm not at a goal to make videos when I just make them. So anyway, 13F. It's been a while since we've had an F, and that was 6F. And I had two more after that. I think I went to a 6H, and that's when I got fired. That was February 23rd. So, I know I made one February 22nd. The next day I got fired, and I had to make another one there because I couldn't, you know, I wasn't going to wait it. But anyway, so... Oh, and then I had to do a breath. I had to breathe in this tube. It was hooked up to a computer, and I, and it just blows all the way through. And you can't. And then you got to keep on doing it, even when you're out of air. You got to keep on doing it. <laughs> you got to keep on doing it. So it was like 15 seconds of brushing it, all that air out of. <sighs> Except it was longer. And it was like, dang. So they tested that, whatever that, I guess that's your lung capacity. Um, I mean, they're <laughs> getting down the last drop. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Um, they checked, and then, of course, the respirator. They, had, they screwed up in this other place. When I went to therapy, they did all my tests. and I, On all the paperwork this time, I did mark the email. I mean, I got my passport. They asked for IDs. That's the ID I gave him, my passport. My passport says female. So last time, if you remember, I did all these tests. I wasn't too sure. And I didn't have really no weird questions this time. Um, I Other than the first question, you know, are you pregnant now? Or <laughs> I did get asked that. So that's not, that's not like a hysterectomy or <laughs> like my sister called it a hysterectomy. <laughs> And nothing like that. But still, you know, be pregnant. Oh, no. <laughs> not pregnant. Okay. <laughs> um, so they really didn't even. And then they checked my, you know, wrist, my back, my neck, how blonde I was. If I went like this forever, it like totally. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? <laughs> like. 
Never mind. <laughs> okay. So, I had all that done, and then, of course, they... I didn't get out of there until, like... I got back here around 4, and I almost didn't get the driving test in. Um, because this new job, of course, I had to do a driving test for it. So, um, I did that, got it done that day, and everything was peachy keen. I went to the store and got something to eat, because, of course, I left my refrigerator empty. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Came home, cooked steak, um, got ready for work. Um, because I still work at my job, my other job. Um, I only have one job right now, but, and if you don't know, it was, they both were applied for at the same time. Well, actually, the one that I'm doing all the testing for now, I applied for that earlier, about two weeks before this other one, which is the other one hired me quick, and then this other one's just taking their time, but you know what? If it's going to pay more, it's by the load, um, but it'll pay more, so that would be good. And it'll be easier work, too. I won't be outside in the weather as much. So that would be good. Um, but yes, no, um, all the confidence I would have to say that New Mexico has given me, just, um, you know, me getting my wings. Um, all the confidence that it's just... I ain't even batting an eyelash now. Um, like when I went in there to get my, you know, all the physical stuff, it was. And then I went back to work the next day, um, which was nobody suspected anything. I, and they don't even know I'm looking for another job, um, which they'll find out. Um, I'm thinking next week, I'm going to get that sometime next week if everything goes right. Either Monday or Tuesday, I'm going to have to put in my two-week notice. Um, whether or not they let me finish my two weeks or not, I don't think they're going to. Because I've been there for, what, over a month now, about a month and a week, so five weeks. I have not even driven for them yet. I've taken a driving test. i got to take a driving training course before they'll let me drive. And they're not even, I, I might do that next week or not. I don't know. But I'm not just going to up and quit. I'm going to put in my two weeks. Um, and this other company understands because I talked to them about it. And they're like, yeah. And, if, you know, if they don't let me finish it, that's fine too. They'll start me earlier. They, they just, they, they respect the fact that, you know, I, I want to do this right. So that's good. And you got to realize, they're, I'm pretty much already hired at this new place. I mean, they already paid for the background check. They got the background check done. Then they forked out the drug test, you know, the alcohol test, the therapy test, the respirator test. Um, I mean, all these tests, and they paid for them. I and mean, that's phase two. So phase two is complete. And I don't do drugs or none of that. And I passed all the tests, I assume. So I'm going to be getting ready to go to phase three. Uh, which is actually getting hired, having a start date, and I think I got to go to Artesia, New Mexico, and train for like a week, because it's totally something I'm not. I, I drive a tanker truck, you know, semi tractor, and then trailer tanker. I drive that, but I drive a vacuum truck, so it's a little bit different than the crude oil. So, but what was neat is yesterday I went to work. I know I was thinking I was gonna have to work Thursday, Friday today, which obviously I didn't, and Sunday, because this was my weekend to theoretically work. Um, but they told me I got it off until they actually do the training. I had to work last weekend, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, so where were we at? I don't even know where this video is at. But um, so what was I talking about? Sometime next week, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put in my two-week notice at my current job and get either, I, I'm sure they won't let me finish because I've made no revenue for them. I'm sure they've spent, what, I would say a minimum of 7000 on me, probably around 10000 I'm talking about the current job I got now, just in all the training, all the 
paid, you know, they're, you know, they're paying me. I'm getting paid. Um, and I'm not building any revenue. So I would have to say it's close to seven, maybe ten grand that they paid me. <laughs> I'm not even driving yet. I mean, not, they haven't paid me, but, you know, they forked out with their drug test, their background check, their this, their that. And then what? It's been a month, so they paid me about three grand. So, because that's about what I make, about three grand a month. You know, nothing to write home and brag about. It's, it's better than McDonald's. That's all I can say. Um, I can sometime I can go to the thrift store and buy sixty-five dollars. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Um, and I really don't have any money saved because I'm playing catch up right now. So. I don't even have a lot of that money saved up. I just it, rent here, gas. What am I paying for gas right now? Because I'm traveling, is another three hundred dollars a month just in gas to go to work and back. So this new job will help out a little bit. So it's still three hundred, probably about two hundred unless I move closer. Um, you know, little things. So, but it's all good. It is all good. Um, obviously, what? three days time I'll update another video um, I'll make it and try to upload it on the 26th um, we'll just play it by ear and see. Um, but yes I had a blast I had fun and even though it didn't go uh, you know according to plan um, with the birth certificate you see this whole trip was stemmed around that birth certificate you know getting that birth certificate amended because I already had the doctor note to put that F on there but I want to do the name and the F at the same time. I mean, the F on the birth certificate's neat, but if it just says Michael and an F, I, I, I don't want to do it one by one. I want to do them both at the same time. You know what I mean? Um, so I'll just have to keep on researching. Maybe people out there will you know, give me some ideas that I can research. But. According to the Minnesota laws, if it's a court order, it's pretty much got to say in that court order that, you know, this person, the name used to be this, needs to be changed to this, sign the judge, um, and it needs to say birth certificate or birth records, and I'll just have to play. I think I'll have to play the New Mexico card. Um, I mean, I guess I can always move to Minnesota and get it done, um, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're not. Um, not right now. Maybe five years down the road, who knows? But right now we're we're staying here with the UFOs, the aliens. I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go to Roswell. Well, one of my videos is gonna be in Roswell. All right, <laughs> and it might be even longer. But anyway, I'm gonna let, I've rambled on long enough. Now you guys know why I wanted to break the two videos up. I knew the Dallas trip was gonna be long. So, but it's all good. It is all, all good. Um, you just got to remember, it, you got to be true. You got to be yourself. So, <laughs> until next time, peace.